Hello everyone, Gomez here for the Land Up with more reveals this evening. I have no idea what the hell they're going to show to us, whether it's going to be a champion or just more cards in general. So let's get in and see what they have for us tonight. Okay, so they're kicking us off with a new keyword. So the keyword is impact. When this strikes while attacking, I deal one damage to the enemy nexus. This keyword can stack. So by this, by basically what this means is that you have to be on your attacking time and when this strikes while attacking, it can do one damage to the enemy nexus. Therefore meaning that it's basically like that one that's in um noxus what is it like the saboteur or whatever it is when they attack forward they do that immediate one damage going in but this is an immediate one damage rather than it going on the spell stack one would assume and so all he's got to do is do a bit is when which it uh, when this strikes while attacking so therefore I mean if this is attacking and you use something like judgment <laughs> and judgment strikes a bunch of different things the same thing uh, that happens with Vi, because Vi is one when she strikes and goes forward if she's leveled up and strikes. If you use Judgment, she will do five damage to the enemy Nexus however many times. So basically, this is... I wonder if not they're going to change the wording on um, Vi's level up to actually say impact on it because it basically is essentially the same thing whereby they'd be impact for five damage rather than one damage. So I don't know whether that would, they would change that or whatnot, but that's basically what it means is that when this strikes while attacking it can do one damage to the enemy nexus which would be interesting to see how this goes on and also this is the poro for bandle city potentially is a dual region uh, which could uh, with freya which obviously freya's got so many poro synergy things anyway that Frey in this in there to be a bandle city um like cross in there is quite good so it's a new pro that does have the impact it's a one one but obviously you can buff that through Pro snacks and whatnot. So it's actually easy. Let's see whether or not we see more with this keyword going on. Okay, so Twitter didn't have anything else for us, but we went straight to Mobile X, and Mobile X has these cards for us. Let's get in and see whether or not there's any more impact what's going on. So the first one is a five mana burst speed hidden pathways, which is um cost two less if you've created two plus cards. Wait, wait, so oh, so this is actually slightly different because I swear that the cards that were yesterday said if you've added two cards to your hand this round. Um, but this says if you created two cards this game, so this is more down like the Victor route where it has to be created cards which if you're running um, puff caps and whatnot, you're going to create those cards in no time anyway. So this costs two less, so this would be a five mana, oh sorry, five mana, three mana, draw two. So that's quite a nice little thing for Bouncy. It's got, it, it, every region needs to have its pot of greed card and this is the pot of greed card for Vandal City. So uh, potentially a very quick, easy to do three mana draw two. So let's see what else they've got for us today. We've got a ten, ten mana card coming in for Bandle City. Let's see what we've got. Treasured Trash. Okay. Fill your hand with random cards. They cost zero and are fleet. Oh my god. So is, is, this, is this actually like Treasure Trove? Only this is like a 10 mana skill. See, treasure trove, you've got to go through a lot of other things to get there. You've got to go through actually putting treasures in your deck, finding those treasures. So, and obviously then it costs five, uh, five, but this is a 10 mana, which is basically just treasure trove. Fill your hand with random cards. So, and it can fill your hand. It's not just a, um, like five things. Uh, they are zero cost and fleeting. You can only play three more cards. This, oh, so, it actually, it's 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 kind of like Treasure Trove, but it's also not, right? So Treasure Trove gives you five cards that are zero cost, random cards. You don't know what the hell they're going to be, and you get to play them all out. This one is going to be a 10 mana, which admittedly, you are having to put 10 mana into this. So it does make a lot of sense that they go down to zero cost. But the difference here is that you can only play three of them. So you can play three of these zero cost cards. So you've got to choose like the best choices. Obviously, the more that you like get things out of your hand the more cards you'll have the option between so there is like maybe a stupid bit of synergy here with a discard deck whereby you're like a using like jinx or something with bandle city and you're doing those damage stuff but this is in there as a little crap i've got nothing else left 10 mana i've got nothing else quickly do this to be able to like a, then make choices 
out of there. I mean, obviously, you won't be able to get Jinx off this round unless you've, all, unless you've already got Jinx off. Or if this is the last card in hand. Because if this is the last card in hand, and I guess you played this, you've technically got rid of all the cards. You'd get the, um, the what's his face? Why can't I think of names? The Mega Death Rocket. But you'd only be able to play this and then two more of these cards. Maybe not discard, but I was basically what my point was trying to get cards out of your hand and out of with things so you get multiple choice in what three you next play. And so I like I like this because I love treasure trove, naturally. So this kind of thing where it just adds random cards, it can also kind of help with the Bandal City landmark, in a manner of speaking. I mean, there's definitely other ways of doing the Bandal City landmark. Like, like it got discussed on stream that we were talking about using it with Build Children and Build Waters, like random one drop synergy could help get like our multiple lots of um, different regions done and get in there but this could also help because it's going to be random cards you get to select which three you're going to be using which will help you like oh, like the, the last couple of um regions that you haven't used yet so i mean it's, it's got it's got definitely a, a really funny card that i cannot wait to use we now have i mean this guy we saw this guy's art in one of the things when they like like showed on the calendar, different things that I've got to say, he does look menacing, but he is a Noxian card, so Noxian with Bandle City, because we haven't actually seen anyone who's Noxian Bandle yet. Obviously, I know that Kled, but we don't know whether or not Kled's going to be coming. He's probably going to come for an expansion later on down the line. So, for this moment in time, we know that we've got um, this one, so this is going to help you again towards that landmark. And he is a free mana 4 2 with quick attack. So, he's not going to really help you out in Noxus too much in terms of the fact that. Um, he has got quick attack, but there's no other keywords. He's not got five attack, so he's not going to help towards reputation because obviously reputation is a big thing, kind of in Noxus that like uh, to help you towards your pot of greed in that deck, in that deck which is um, whispered word and whatnot. But it might still see play in Noxus, but I feel like it's going to definitely see play in the Bandle City Landmark deck because it will be a Noxus card adding in there as well as it's not too badly started for quick attack as being its key word but i said whether or not that gets used in noxus i don't know because there would have to be like some some reason to use that in there as well. guess, but quick quick attack's never a bad move right and it's okay started so i i do like this i do think it's gonna see some big plus it's got the um i think it's a yordle yordle because i was saying yodel before i swear i was uh, which is, somebody pointed out in the in the comments but yes it's, it's still got that so whether or not we see anything happen with yordles um in terms of them getting any pluses or whatnot so like or draw a yordle from your deck we'll find out but it's, it's got that keyword anyway and finally we find we see one more who's got the impact thing because we've got this new keyword impact we saw the poro this is another one that's got impact and tough a two mana two two so whenever this is attacking forward it's going to be doing one damage to the enemy uh, enemy nexus as long as it's striking as it's attacking so your opponent can actually um stop that if they um like because it has to strike when it, which it when it's attacking so your opponent can actually stop that by uh glimpsing whatever it puts in top or, or which it recalling whatever's in front so there is actually ways your opponent can get around the keyword impact but it's still an interesting new keyword that is doing immediate damage to that enemy nexus as well so uh for two mana fears yep battle city card if you're gonna go for an impact thing there's no reason not to and for two two mana two two with tough on its own is still quite a good thing as well as the fact that it will be when it, as it's striking forward it's gonna be doing damage we only have one more card so one more card oh my god it's another oh it's another poro it's another poro bandle city um friendly old combo here so it's a five mana one this time oh god is it gonna be poro like bandle city friendly old um poro decks going around but this poro is a which could um it's got impact and it's got a five which it a five five uh when it attacks summon an attacking random one cost poro so yeah again this is another poro which is going to help you gain more poro so if you're building a poro archetype whereby you're using uh poro snacks and all of that thing this is actually going to be like a, it is summoning an attacking random one cost poro so that will just be the uh, same as uh, which yeah, what's her face like elise or whatever her name is the spider one when she as she attacks she summons another attacking spider this one will summon another attacking bro so definitely like with in a, in a pro deck you could see that see play and yeah i i mean i could definitely envision myself putting this into a few things bearing in mind that i said like you know you 
you could just make a pro deck with these pros in and not have to include anything else from Bandle City and you can still go to uh, PNZ because PNZ with pros has been a thing for a very long time. So I could see that that might like because obviously that gives you access to the daring pro then it also gives you that access to give it all. So potentially like you know, we might see some pro deck come out of this um but it's, it's still really really interesting the fact there is uh both of these as well i don't think that you'd really run these two pros outside of fairly odd but i might be surprised you never know what the hell other cards are going to end up in bandle city whether or not there's anything which justifies taking these cards out of using the fairly odd package to help out the pros as well but I've got to say, I love these cards. What are your opinions? I mean, the trash, the treasure trash is my favorite card by far. And obviously, we've got a, pot, a pot of greed card. But what are your opinions of these cards? I'd love to hear down in the comment section down below. As well as obviously, shameless plug time. Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. You can catch me over on Twitch on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. As well as there's a Discord link down below where there is currently a custom card contest going down. So if you've got any ideas for the new champions that we know are going to be on the way, or just cards in general, uh, spells, landmarks, whatever, I would love to see see what your creative minds come up with and please post them in the discord and let me know like i said which like you could potentially win some cash prizes as well as just uh, like your opinions on these new cards or just deck building strategies and ideas that you have for the new cards i'd love to hear it in the discord it's a lovely little community that we're making so thank you so much for everyone who's already a part of that and if you wish to join thank you kindly for joining as well as if you've not already hit that subscribe button why not consider it if you enjoyed yourself or found anything it's even slightly entertaining but if not do not worry these are just the options that are available to you so thank you all so much for watching hopefully i'll see you tomorrow for some more reveals and potentially a champion right at this point so until then goodbye flash of brilliance that could save me save me that doesn't save me okay is there anything from you save me that doesn't save me okay Get rid of this and get rid of this. Find something that can save me.